Necessity is the mother of all inventions, and yet there are bizarre creations all around the world that nobody needs. So today we are going to be taking a look at five of the weirdest inventions ever known to humanity. Some of these may surprise you, while others may make you question, who in God's name would ever use that? If you enjoy watching the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe and click the bell icon so that you never miss out on our future uploads. On to the video. Number 5. The Radio Hat Decades before the advent of the Walkman, iPod, and cell phone, the idea of being able to listen to the radio on the go was unthinkable because of the bulky equipment of the early radios. This bizarre contradiction is believed to have been created by the inventor of Berlin in the 1930s, essentially a straw hat with two large antennas protruding. You would be amazed to think that this is the least weird item on our list. The radio hat was a portable radio built into a pith helmet that brought stations within a radius of 32 kilometers, 20 miles. It was launched in early 1949 as the Man from Mars radio hat for $7.95. Thanks to a successful advertising campaign, radio hats were sold in stores from coast to coast across the United States. American Mary Lay Corporation created it in Brooklyn. New York manufacturer. The company was a leading supplier of party hats, noisemakers, and other novelties. Founder Victor Hoflick invented the machine to make Hawaiian lay from paper when he was in high school, 1914, and by 1949, shipped millions of lay to Hawaii each year. As an inventor and gadget, Hoflick continued to develop and sell machines that create paper novelties. Battery-powered portable radios have been available for many years, but Hoflick wanted the radio to be a hit with innovative packaging and promotional campaigns. The transistor was just invented, but it was still an expensive laboratory curiosity. The first pocket transistor radio was still five years away. This radio will need to use existing tube technology, and the tube will be a prominent design feature. I also saw the loop antenna and tuning knob. Other versions of the radio hat were made of many different materials, but the general public accepted none. Not only was it annoying, but there was also a problem with the radio signal. The invention of the transistor radio in 1955 finally revolutionized listening to the radio and music together when you are on the move. Number 4. The Face Glove no, you are not looking at Dwight Schrute from that one episode of The Office. No, this is not a promotional poster for a horror movie. Developed in the United States at the turn of the 20th century, sophisticated and affluent women use this ominous-looking mask, or face glove, to keep and maintain youthful skin while removing scars and imperfections. The main problem with this unproven treatment, which resembles the straightforward one of airy horror movies, was its implications on health. Designed for a medical purpose, as claimed by inventor and Miller Madam Helen M. Laurie, the mask was originally made of flexible Indian rubber and was intended to be warm overnight. The science behind his claim was that the mask encouraged sweating and open pores. However, worrisomely, the use of materials such as asbestos, sulfur, and lead made the mask dangerous and caused more skin problems than intended. Masks have become popular and other companies have created their own versions. At present, different kinds of face masks are in place, which is made up of skin-friendly materials that help rejuvenate your skin without harming it. However, face masks still look equally bizarre in my opinion, especially when combined with the eyes of a cucumber. Number 3. The Nekamini This is probably the cutest invention on our list. However, that doesn't make it any less weird. This is one of the most advanced pieces of technology that is used with a very silly outlook. Nekamimi is a headband with a NeuroSky MindWave EEG sensor and electric cat-shaped ears program to rotate up when the wearer concentrates and rotate down when relaxed. It runs on four AAA batteries for four hours and has replaceable ears for cats, dogs, and devils. In November 2011, Time Magazine voted Nekamimi as one of the 50 best inventions of the year. In addition, Nekamimi received a prestigious award in the interactive art category of 2013 Prixar's Electronics. NeuroSky rejected NeuroAir's partnership proposal, but NeuroAir announced in May 2011 that Nekamimi would be released internationally at a cost of hundreds of dollars by the end of 2011. Due to the viral popularity of the simulated promotional video, NeuroSky has returned to the table. Nekamimi was demonstrated at Gadget Show Live in April 2012. On April 28, 2012, cat ears were launched at the Nico Nico Chakegi at Makuhari Mess in Chiba City. 
Ayaka Komatsu sculpted her ears on April 29, 2012. The price in the US is $99.95. It was sold in Japan in 2012 for 150 euros. There are few official ear options, but individual craftsmen make a variety of ear covers, including bears, foxes, wolves, bunny ears, and commissioned pieces of different colors. Many of these are sold at conventions through Etsy and other online sites. The limited edition cat ears were designed to promote the movie Wolf's Children, Ami, and Yuki. The ear color corresponds to children bearing the wolf's name. Another limited edition was created by Nizumi Nabuki and modeled by Najisa. Anderson Cooper has a Yoda pair. Fans of the Green Bay Packers have replaced their ears with cheese wedges. Nakimini premiered at Phantom Con in the United States in May 2012 and debuted at San Diego Comic Con International in the United States in July 2012. Christina Bonington reviewed Wired's headband. Review by Andrew Tarantola on Gizmodo. Betsy Isaacson reviewed it for the Huffington Post. These cat ears are also fragile and can break with very little force, other than the cost. Therefore, the manufacturer advises not to wear it in cars. Number 2. The Dinosphere This has to be the most bizarre road vehicle to exist. Look at it. It's literally a wheel you can sit inside of Dr. Perv's, build this eccentric car in 1930 with Leonardo da Vinci's sketches as his inspiration. Of course, this isn't the first time Vinci has inspired someone to make a monowheel. As early as 1869, Rousseau, a Frenchman from Marseille, built the first unicycle in which the driver sat on the steering wheel, moved his weight, and steered in the desired direction basically leaving safety by accident. Large wheels always remain in the rider's line of sight, and sudden braking causes the rider to roll with the wheels as if that weren't enough. It resembles a gerbil running on its wheels. Two prototypes have been created. The larger one was equipped with a petrol engine that output 2.56 horsepower. In response to believing contradictory reports and ran a 1,000-pound wheel at an exhilarating speed of 2,530 miles per hour, while running the smaller one using electricity. Dr. Purves had nothing but foresight. In 1935, they also designed a bus version of the Dinosphere. This is to accommodate more passengers on the same single wheel. The rider's seat, motor, and controls were unique units that were mounted on the inner rails of a small unicycle. When powered on, the unit tried to climb the spherical rails, with the larger rails starting to roll forward. The steering was rough and not much farther than the previous French prototype. This means that the driver had to literally swing his weight to tilt the steering wheel in the desired direction so that gravity and other laws of motion would not advance. Perves later imagined that future models might have the gear to tilt the internal unit to turn the wheel better. However, the vehicle had no future, and you can see why. Number 1. The Tonin. This item is number one on our list, not just because of its strange concept, but also because it is pointless. The other items on our could be used by all and did not cater to a specific niche. The Tomatin is built for people who would like to eat a tomato while going on a walk or a jog. How purposeless and oddly specific is that? Kagomi, Japan's largest supplier of tomato juice and tomato ketchup, has developed this cute robot for marathon runners with Mewadenki. Why do they use tomatoes instead of other fruits you may wonder? Tomatoes contain many nutrients that fight fatigue is the justification. The machine resembles a humanoid robot, a tomato head with a movable jaw, and a tomato tray. The alpha version of the wearable Tomaen was considered inadequate due to the need for attendance. Unfortunately, the final device weighs about 8 kilograms and can only carry 6 tomatoes. If the runner feels like they need a nutrient boost, all one has to do is simply pull the lever on the base of the robot and the tomatoes will be released from the output chute into the robot's hands. Its arms then rotate forward, carrying the fruit into the runner's mouth. These are the weirdest creations that we could find. Do you have any more peculiar inventions that deserve a spot on the list? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed watching the video, make sure to leave a like and share with your friends. Subscribe and click the bell icon so that you never miss out on our future uploads.